This is Clarence Johnson for Little Village. I'm here with Idris Goodwin. Uh, you can find the review of his book, These Are the Breaks, on uh, littlevillagemag.com or in the print edition. Uh, we're just going to do kind of a question and answer. <laughs> All right, take two. Take two. Um, awesome. One of my favorite quotes, and something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, uh, is on page 18. Let me get to the piece so I can give you some context. Uh, is in response number one. And uh, you said, I'm a rapper introduced to hip-hop culture through commodity. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I think a lot of, a lot about right now. Of course, mm -hmm. the dog's going to get in there. Um, is right now... Is there any other way anymore to be introduced to hip hop other than through the commodified version? I mean, is there is there a, is there a route to it that is more authentic than what? Well, I think there. I think that's a good question. I think I think um, it's different now that it has been. Um, there's always you know there's always going to be that. There's no way around that. And in a lot of ways, that's been a good thing. Um, but I think there are ways that you can that that you can you can purchase a hip hop. You know, a quote unquote hip hop song or rap song. You can purchase hip hop style clothing, mm -hmm. you know, quote unquote, around all of this. You can go see Step Up to the Streets at mm -hmm. the movies or whatever, you know, uh, but that doesn't necessarily make you hip hop. It doesn't mean that you're an active participant really in the culture. It means that you're, you're, um, you're in some ways a, a fan of it, um, but it's not necessarily. You know, you're not necessarily participating in it. So there are ways that you can actively participate in 21st century hip hop culture. I mean, it's, it, there are things happening all around the world. You know, um, people organizing and people inventing new styles and new you know ways of communication and new slang and all of that. And that's still very much alive and happening. You know, as we speak. Um, so I guess the answer is that yeah. I mean, like, I, I don't think. Uh, there's a way to for one to authentically just sort of, I mean, unless you're just like from the moon or something like that. Like everyone's heard of hip hop or rap or break dancing or DJing. I mean, it's been it's been woven into so many other uh, parts of our culture, so it's it's un, undeniable, unescapable. Mm -hmm. um, but you can still have a sort of I, what I would call an authentic sort of hip hop culture experience. You know. Um, just in terms of the work that you do every day and the way that you choose to exist in the world. 